Congratulations and welcome to the Inner Circle of Magicians. I'm Mark Sweet. To help me demonstrate these tricks, I've asked my friends Marlena and Sally to join me. Okay, I know you're anxious to begin, so let's get going. The first trick is called the Paper Napkin Mystery. That sounds so dramatic, doesn't it? <laughs> the object is to make the quarter disappear. Now, so you can't see the dirty work, we place a salt shaker on top. To complicate the mystery a little bit more, I place the napkin over the salt shaker. Now, Marlena, do you feel the quarter <laughs> is there? Yes, I do. Right, it is. Sally, do you feel the quarter is there? Yes, I do. Let's see. <laughs> ah, it is. We're going to make it disappear. Watch. <gasps> the salt shaker. <laughs> it disappeared, and it went right through the oh. table. How did you do that? Very well. <laughs> now, to perform this trick, all you need is a napkin, a salt shaker, and a quarter, and you're ready to begin. It's that easy. We'll start with a fresh napkin. We begin by placing the salt shaker over the quarter. We then take the napkin, place it right over the salt shaker. Now, I asked Marlena if the quarter was still there. I brought my hand back once. Yes, it's there. I check with Sally. Is the quarter still there? I come back again. This time, I just released the salt shaker into my left hand. So we really bring back the empty napkin. The napkin actually creates a mold of the salt shaker. Everyone is under the impression that the salt shaker is still there, right over the quarter, under the napkin, and I go one, two, three, it's gone. Now, there are a couple of fine points. Number one, when you do this, make certain that you do not tuck the napkin under the salt shaker because that will prevent the salt shaker from sliding out of the napkin easily. Number two, when you bring your hand back, you don't want to lower your hand too much. Just bring it back slightly below the edge of the table when you release it. So this way you can bring your right hand back and show that the salt shaker has disappeared. Amazing. And now for your next trick, and it's called the educated deck. And now for our next effect, we're going to have Marlena and Sally each take out a card. Would you please take out a card, Marlena? Are you sure you want that one? Yes. <laughs> okay, that one's fine. <laughs> Sally, would you take out a card, please? Mm -hmm. Any one you like. Look at your cards. Mm -hmm. Remember the card. Mm -hmm. Keep the cards on your mind. Got it. <laughs> if you lose your mind, you're going to ruin the whole <laughs> trick. Now, would you put your card back in the deck? Anywhere at all. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Are you ready, Sally? I'm ready. Say I'm ready. stop. Stop. We'll have you put your card right back there. Good. Watch closely or you're going to miss the magic. Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You look at that? There you wow. have it. Now, what were your cards, please? Three of clubs. The queen of clubs. Look, there they are. <laughs> the three of clubs and oh the queen my. of clubs. Now, here's how it's done. You begin with a deck of cards. You divide the deck in half. Half of 52 is? 26. Very good. We'll set that right there on the table. Now, through the other half, we have drilled a hole. The hole is running all the way through. Now, to drill the hole through the cards, I used a very small drill. You can also use a needle and thread to poke a hole through the center of the card. And on the bicycle cards, it's very easy to do because there's a dot right there on the bicycle card right dead center, so it serves as a perfect guide. Now, through the hole, we run a thread. I used monofilament. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? You almost have to get in very close to see this. Very difficult to see. Now, it's attached to this top card with tape right here. Two or three pieces of tape will hold it securely. Now, at the other end, I attach it to my belt loop with a safety pin. Now, I place the cards on the palm of my hand between my forefinger and my ring finger. 
I then pick up the unprepared cards, place them on top. Now you're ready to begin. We have to have two cards selected. We want to get the card selected from the top half of the deck. Now the best way to accomplish this is just to fan out the top half. See that? It's easy. Please take out a card. Look at your card. Remember the card. And now, Sally, please take out a card. Look at your card. Remember it. Mm -hmm. Now, when we return the cards to the deck, we want to return the cards to the bottom half of the deck, the portion with the monofilament running through it. So, I riffle through the bottom half. Say stop wherever you like. Stop. Good. Okay. What this does is it pushes the monofilament to the back of the deck. And now, please say stop wherever you like. Stop. Put your card in. And that pushes the monofilament all the way to the back of the deck. Now, by moving my hand very slowly forward, the thread tightens, the monofilament tightens, forcing the two cards out of the deck in a very magical way. And now, for your next trick, and it's called Magic Matches. Now, here's how Magic Matches is done. And this trick you can perform almost anywhere. All you need is an everyday book of matches. And now, Sally, would you open your hand, please? Watch closely. If I take out one match like this, fair enough? Fair enough. I close up the book. We set the match on fire. Would you close your hand, please, over the book of matches? Ready? Watch. I go one, two, hope, oh, and look. It's gone. <laughs> open your hand, please. I'll open the book. Look what happened. <gasps> Now, is the burnt match attached inside? There is a burnt match. Pull it yes. out. See if it's attached. Is it attached? Pull it right out. That's very good. You do nice work. <laughs> so do you. Now, <laughs> if we take out one, we take out two matches. I do this. Watch. Would you blow that out, please? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Just the girls. We close up the book of matches. The matches go right there in the palm of your hand. If I take the one white match, it goes in my hand. I do this. Look. Did you feel it happen? I don't know. <laughs> it, happened. it happened. Open your hand. We open the book. There it is. Um. It jumped inside, and let's see. It's Aww. still attached. And that's the best I ever did that trick. <laughs> now, would you like to learn how it's done? Oh, absolutely. It's very easy. You use any book of matches. Mm -hmm. You can do this trick anywhere, anytime. You must begin by burning one match without anyone knowing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, that's all the preparation you need. You then set the book of matches inside your pocket. You're ready to begin. You bring out the book of matches. When you open up the book of matches, your left thumb brings down the one burnt match. Mm -hmm. You then pull back the flap. You can show the book of matches surrounded. If we take out one match, as I close up the book, my left fingers kick up the burnt match back into the book. The right hand lifts up the book and closes the book of matches. I can now put the matches in your hand. You close your hand, uh -huh. okay? But before I have you close your hand, if you recall, I lit one match. Right. Now, I have to vanish this match and make this match apparently appear in that book of matches. Mm. And I better do this quickly. So, to vanish the match, I just go one, two, and on three, I throw it on the floor. No one ever sees it. You then apparently make it magically appear inside the book. 
when I have you open up the book? There it is, the burnt match. Now, for the second half of the trick, which is twice as exciting as the first half, you bring down one match, same way with your thumb. If I take out another match, I do this. We like the matches. Now be very careful that the flap is all the way back when you do this. And if there are small children watching, you should never play with matches. Please blow out the matches. We all get this thing now. <laughs> <laughs> the happy birthday song. As we close the book, my left fingers kick back the unlit match. The match is once again go into your hand. Now we want to make this match disappear and apparently appear inside the book of matches. Uh -huh. To vanish the match, all you do is apparently toss the match into the hand. Mm -hmm. But here's where the magic comes in. Just as you toss it into your left hand, your right thumb pinches the match. It holds it into the right hand. It keeps it in the right hand. So you do this. I'll do it very slowly. But you actually touch this hand and then close it. And it looks like the match is really in the left hand, but it really is still in the right hand. The right hand then drops back and just drops the match onto the floor. You then come over like this, open your hand, the match has disappeared, Hopefully we get some oohs and ahs. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Very good. And then we open up the book of matches. And there it is. And there it is. And it's still attached.